Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I just wanted to give you a little talk about the first piece. Uh, it's called Gumbo. Uh, it was written in 2008 and uh, written by a friend of mine, John B. Hedges. We went to school together in Philadelphia. And I think it's just a really fun piece. It's uh, it got a lot of sort of uh, New Orleans flair to it. And um, the first movement is a shuffle. And the second movement has a bit of a story that goes with it that I think sort of makes it more enjoyable if you know the, the backstory to it. Um, it, it's supposed to represent a um, New Orleans funeral procession. So it starts out of nothing, just very open, sort of barren piano chords, and because the procession's very far away. And then as time progresses, um, it sort of builds and builds and builds, and the center of the movement is, uh, well, we're both wailing away. And um, that's sort of when you're right up close with the procession. And then um, at the end, as the procession's moving on, it, it dies down and returns to the opening chords, um, but a little bit slower. So listen for that. And the third movement is uh, just a really fun movement, and um, I, th I think you'll enjoy it. So um, this is a piece that Audrey and I did the world premiere recording of um, last year. And uh, the recording received a whammy for best classical recording of the year. And if you're uh, interested, we'll have it for sale afterwards uh, around the Q&A section of the program. Thanks so much.
Thank you very much. I, I really love that piece. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, this is an all-American concert. 
Every piece is written by an American composer. And every piece is very fun. So there's, there's your theme for the night. Um, this next piece is very near and dear to me. It's uh, Copeland's uh, Clarinet Concerto. And um, you guys are getting a sneak preview here because I'm going to be playing this next month with an orchestra um, down in Virginia. And so we thought we'd take it on the road, so to speak, and uh, give you guys a sneak preview tonight. And um, what's interesting about this piece is it was originally written for Benny Goodman, who was a very famous jazz clarinetist who actually commissioned a lot of classical works, very famous classical works like this piece and also Bartok's Contrasts for clarinet, violin, and piano, and some other works as well. Um, but what many people don't know is that Benny Goodman was terrified of classical music. He was very comfortable in jazz, obviously, and you know, had, you know, could play anything up high, down low, anything he wanted at all. But all of a sudden, you put music in front of the man, and he stiffened up. So if you listen to the recording of him playing this piece with uh, Copeland conducting, it's actually the opposite of what you would expect. It's not jazzy at all, and it sounds very um, constrained. And another interesting thing is that in the original edition that Copeland wrote of this piece, um, there were parts that were too hard for Benny Goodman. And so he had to rewrite it. Um, and the version you're going to hear today is that version that he rewrote, um, because that's become the standard edition. Um, but because we're all uh, where we are, if you were interested, you could go down to the Library of Congress, and you could see the original uh, doc unedited document that went up really, really high, and you'll see that this still goes up pretty high. So it's uh, just interesting to know that. And just on a personal level, uh, hearing my former, former, former teacher play this when I was in high school, I thought it was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever heard. And so that is really what made me want to become a clarinetist. So you're sort of hearing the, the beginning of my career here. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. It's a piece in two movements connected by a cadenza, so it's continuous. Uh, the first movement is very slow, and one of what I think is one of the most uh, beautiful pieces of music ever. And then there's a solo clarinet cadenza, and then it ends with a very jazzy uh, second movement. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
So you see, he left a few high notes in the discourse, too. So uh, we're in uh, continuing our American night. We really could not leave out the next composer, Leonard Bernstein, who, of course, was very close with Copland. And uh, this, this piece, uh, the Sonata for Clarinet and Piano by Bernstein, is actually Bernstein's first published piece. And um, a funny story comes along with it, actually. Um, Bernstein, uh, as a student, was composing this work. And he lived next door to a clarinetist. Um, originally, he was going to have the, this clarinetist perform the work. But they got into a fight. And so Bernstein decided, ah, to heck with you. And he um, gave the dedication to somebody else. <laughs> so anyway, uh, here is Bernstein's clarinet sonata. It's in two movements. And uh, I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> for our final work, a little bonbon for you guys. Um, I have to admit, though, I stole this, so I'm sorry. Um, this piece written by George Gershwin, his first piano prelude, um, is now arranged for clarinet and piano. So I p get to play all the fun stuff, and she has to play all the hard stuff. So I think it's, I, I'm glad th about the way it worked out here. Um, so uh, thank you very much for having me and for coming to the concert. It's been fun, and I hope you enjoy this last uh, piece. Thanks. <laughs>